guys welcome to our youtube channel free and love channel thank you so much for uh tuning in to this channel thank you so much for every time finding a chance to come and uh see what we have for you guys so today i have something uh different i want to share with you and first of all i have a this my hair i bought this hair from one of the stores here and i love the way it fits on me i just held behind here so that it doesn't be all over the place i like it what do you think guys i love this hair <laughs> you can tie it the way you want to tie it, different styles that fits you so i love the hair so much okay anyways Today I have something special uh, I want to share with you. Uh, in a, for those of you who have looked at my video, my very first videos, uh, I went back to school and I want to tell you school is hard. <laughs> school is hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If you are not fit to go to school, you should be ready for the Bambi ride. School is hard. School is stressful. And uh, it's not been easy. <laughs> it's not been easy. Here I have Elaine. Elaine, say hi. hi. How are you doing? You doing okay? What's the problem? Mm, huh? Mommy, half of blue and half of daddy and an angel. I saw, I saw a bumblebee. A bumblebee. She's scared of bees. She's scared of bugs. So yeah, that's Elaine, <laughs> my little one. So today I wanna talk about last semester. I was uh, working on one of the courses that I need for this program. I'm actually, for those who don't know, I'm, uh, I'm doing my master's uh, in psychiatrics, nurse practitioner level, um, nurse practitioner level, yeah. So uh, I went back to schools just to uh, uh, gain more knowledge on how to handle psych patients. So So uh, last term, semester I was taking one of the courses that is required for this program of psych, psychiatrics nurse practitioner. And my, the, 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 the course was extremely hard. The <laughs> uh, course was extremely hard. So the course I was taking in last semester, the spring semester, was uh, advanced pathophysiology. For those who viewed my first videos I was studying this book it's called pathophysiology see how thick this book is it's hard <laughs> it's higher it's very very hard I mean and one of the requirement for this course was that you have to sit for four major exams four major exams and those exams were very tough you have a lot of like a lot of work you need to study and you don't have sufficient time to study and you i'm a full working mom yeah, i have kids i have family to take care of and going to school you should be ready psychologically to go to school so the course was extremely hard we had also uh the the passing score for this advanced pathophysiology I'm talking to those people who want to go back to school and advance uh, or uh, grow your academic ladder. Uh, it's doable, but uh, psychologically you need to be prepared for this journey. It's a Bambi ride, but it is doable if you uh, 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 keep focus and uh, know why you went to school. So I was saying that this course, the advanced part of physiology, this book, we had to sit for four exams and these exams, the passing score for this class was 85%. There's no C, <laughs> you have to pass it with a B. B is the minimum for the class. So it was extremely hard, very, very hard. And 
I really had to spend a lot of time studying. Any time I had a chance to study, I study because if you waste any time or you waste any week without studying, you have really wasted a lot. So it was extremely, extremely hard. So the class had uh, 24 students who sat for, uh, who, who, who were together with me, 24 students. And by the time the course was ending, <laughs> Only seven students were left in the class because the the, high, the passing score was extremely high and the course itself was difficult, the, 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 the questions were very hard and it was very hard, it was a very very hard course and you have, you had to make a score of 80 for you to pass the exam. If you, <clears throat> because you had four exams, the passing scores were, was 80. And of course, we have other assignments. So the rule was that for other part of the assignment, a part of the course assignment that you are supposed to do, for it to be added to your uh, uh, final score, the passing score for major exams has to be 80. If you get 79.4, you have failed the course. So even if you did well in other assignment, that part portion cannot be added. To your exam because you already failed you have to pass this exam for the other portion of assignment to be to top up your grade so if you get anything below 70 <laughs> anything below 80 like 74 point like four sorry 79.4 you have failed the course and the other portion of assignment cannot be added to top up your grade so you had to get a, a, a passing score of 80 and then after that, the other portion of the assignment can be added to top up your grade. So it wasn't an easy class. It wasn't an easy class. It was hard. So 24 started the course with me and only seven passed the course. It was extremely hard. And as you can see, this book is very thick. You need a lot of time to study. It, it's very thick. It's massive. There's a lot of work. The volume of work to be studied is hefty. It's very uh, huge. And if you have a busy family and uh, um, you're working full time, it can be so challenging, but I know it's doable. It's doable. It's do I studied hard. I, how did I do it? Being a working mom, full time working mom, a family, and I have a very supportive family. My husband is very, very supportive and he he did help me through this uh help me do other stuff in the uh, in the house household chores and those who have watched the videos about <laughs> husband shockers in the u.s when you leave africa and come here uh you, you think that you're gonna be sitting and watching the television as your wife work like a <laughs> work hard me <laughs> That's a gone story. You leave it in the airport when you step on this soil of U.S. <laughs> you have to chip in and help. Hmm? You have to chip in and help for you to be able to grow together and just help each other. So my husband is very supportive in this journey. He helps me a lot and he takes care of kids when I'm too crazy busy with the school. And he's been there for me. And I, I, can't, I, I, I can't just say thank you. Wherever you are, I thank you. I know you're hearing or you look at this video. <laughs> so, for those who are planning to go to school, I just want to encourage you, go for it. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but go for it. Take risks. Step out and do it. Hmm? I've had friends who started on the lowest level, like the lowest level in healthcare. It's, a, it's, it's called CNA, Certified Nurse Assistant. I've, seen, I've had friends who said at that level they went to a licensed practice nurse and then they went to get their registered nurse degree and then they went to get their BSN, master's, uh, 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 doctorate and there are some who are going to do PhD and it's a journey that you have to be dedicated to do it. There's nothing hard on the face of this earth. You have to fully dedicate yourself in this journey and you can do it. The only thing you need to do, believe in yourself, trust in God. In this journey, you can make it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Just collect yourself, be focused, and you can make it.
just step out do not be scared those who are planning to go to school get on board start doing something start doing something even if it's not nursing there are other jobs or other uh, courses you can take towards your dream some you can be a, 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 a pharmacologist you can be an engineer you can be anything that you wish to do you just need to step out of your comfort zone and get into this journey and you can make it so thank god i passed the course and now i'm doing another course called uh pharmacotherapeutic it's pharmacology just basically studying medicine um uh, administration the effects of medicine all this it's a thick book but it's not as thick as this i can't even carry it's a thick book but this one is a little this is thicker than this so you to pass to to, to graduate to this <laughs> you have to pass this and it's not a joke so still you have the same rules uh for me to uh pass this course i need to have a great uh, 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 an average of 80 for the exam and uh before the other assignment is added i need to have an average for the exams and uh, it's, it's it's a lot of work to do it's, it's it's a lot of work to do you have just to put in a lot of effort for to succeed it's not an easy journey it's hard but it is doable it's hard but it is doable just when you carry somebody just get in the road start the journey and it will lead you somewhere if you want to better your life if you want to be smarter uh, academically you have to get in the uh, back to school and upgrade your academic level it's doable uh, for those who wish to do it it's doable and even if you go in and you don't do it the better the first time you can always re-enroll and do it again i know when you come in for the next time you'll be uh well prepared to take it uh it uh, the, the course again and i believe you can do it better okay so don't give up <laughs> don't give up i know beside the school being a, a hard I know finances is also another part. You have to also to finance your academic work. I know here you can get student loans, which you can pay when you graduate, which is good. So if you don't have school fees, you can always apply for student loans that can help you go through uh, the, uh, uh, your school work and pay at the end of it all. And uh, believe in yourself and stay stronger in this journey. So that's I wanted to share with you and I'll give you progress about this other course that I'm studying. And if you have a question concerning going going back to school, you could be anywhere in the world, you could be in any continent, you wanna go back to school or you're planning to travel and come here in the US and go back to school. Just prepare yourself for this journey. Psychologically, the first step you need to uh, to undertake. Psychologically, pre uh, you should be prepared psychologically. I mean, that's the first step, and then step in for the uh, for for your uh, for your studies. Step in in your studies. Step in, and uh, you'll be able to do it if you believe in yourself. So thank you so much for watching this channel please remember to subscribe <laughs> subscription does not cost you anything it's just a, a click of the button and you'll be in this family we have a lot to share with you and we we'll love you to subscribe to support us so that as we expand we're going to be bringing you new new and great stuff that i believe this uh, our life is encouraging somebody somewhere i believe this journey we are in is encouraging somebody somewhere and uh you can do it you can do it you just need to press on hold on tightly you can do it because i know how my journey has been and if i did it and if i'm doing it you can do it so remember to subscribe those who have not subscribed remember to subscribe the retiring subscribers thank you so much for always remembering to come and watch our new stuff and for always supporting us share with your friends and share with your co-workers and anybody 
uh, that to help us grow uh, this channel. Thank you so much and see you later. Bye-bye.